Hi and welcome to Engineer's Mindset with another amazing question on two dimension. Question says resolve the force F1 600 newton and F2 400 newton acting on a pin in figure A. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Okay, so this is what we have in the figure. So we have this force F1 600 newton at an angle of 30 degrees of the horizontal. We have this to be our vertical component and one force F to 400 Newton at an angle of 45 to the vertical. So we start as normal, usual. We draw the free body diagram of the system, so FPD. And I told you in two dimensions, FPD simply means your Cartesian coordinate system. So you're basically drawing your graph and then you're presenting everything you're seeing in the system. So let this be X. These are Y component force. And from the origin, we have a force 600 newton from the origin inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so from the origin one for 600 newton which is f1 600 newton inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal also we have this other force f2 400 newton at 45 degrees to the vertical so we have force f2 f2 happens to be 400 newtons okay 45 degrees so we start by x component force s component force so f1 s we resolve f1 to x usually hold the tip of the arrow here is the arrow pointing this towards this direction then you pull it to meet the x line notice the direction of this arrow is it points towards the right so which means this force is a positive force and again it passes through what this angle 30 degrees so it means we are going to multiply the force by cosine of the angle it passes through. So we have 600 cos 30. And 600 cos 30 gives us 519.6 newtons. So we resolve F2 to the horizontal. So F2S. Now, um, we know that if here is 30 degrees, of course, here is going to be 60 degrees from 90 degrees because the first quadrant is 90. So if here is 30, angle on the quadrant is, um, is 90. So if here is 30, here is 60. If here is 45 as well, it means this angle here is 45 degrees. Okay, so resolving F2 to the horizontal, hold the tip of the arrow, watch, watch the direction, pull the arrow till it meets the X line. This is the X line. Notice that it will see point towards the left. So this is minus. So since it's point to the left, it's going to give us a negative force. So you hold the force and pull it to the left. Notice that it passes through this angle from this point to this point that's 45 degrees. So it's going to be minus because it passes through, it's pointing to the left. The arrow is pointing to the left, so it's minus 400. Then it passes through this angle, so it becomes cos 45. So that gives us, that gives us 282.8 newtons. So the next thing we'll do is to find the summation of horizontal forces. So summation of X component force. S component force so we use summation f of x we simply add okay so we add the two forces that we have first is 519.6 519.6 okay this is now minus please take note this is minus minus 400 cos 45 okay for minus so minus 282.8 Okay, so we'll have this so summation f of x is now equal to now give us 236.8 newtons okay so we've got in summation f of x the next to find is some is, is vertical force uh, y component force so we'll find the y component force or vertical component force okay as usual hold the tip of the arrow Pull it till it meets the vertical line. Notice the direction of the arrow. If you pull it till it meets the vertical line, it still points upward. So that means this force is positive in the y direction. And again, it passes through what, 60 degrees. So it's going to be cos. So we multiply the force by cosine of the angle it passes through. So we have that F1y will give us 600 cos 60. And that happens to be 300 newtons. So we'll resolve F2y. 
F2 while holding the tip of the arrow, pull it till it meets the vertical line, also watch the direction, it points upwards, so it's positive. And it also passes through 45 degrees, so you have 400 cos 45, and this is equal to 282.2. <coughs> so after this, we'll not take summation of vertical force, so summation of S y component force. Y component force that's summation f of y okay <clears throat> that gives us 300 plus 282.8 and summation f of y obviously will give us 582.8 newtons okay so getting that we should say we should find it magnitude of the resultant force and the direction so resultant force magnitude that's f r is equal to the square root of summation f of x all squared plus summation f of y all squared so resultant force magnitude is equal to the square root summation f of x give us 236.8 236.8 so we have 236.8 squared plus summation f of y give us 582.8 so 582.8 all squared okay, so we'll have this resultant force magnitude becomes okay so that gives us That's 56074.24. 56074.24 plus so we'll find the square of this. Okay, so the square of 582.8. Okay, give us this. So add the two of them. We'll have this value and take the square root. You have 629. Approximately 629 newtons as the resultant force. Okay. Um next is to find direction. Direction of resultant force We said theta is tan inverse actan summation f of x summation f of y all over summation f of x So theta is equal to actan summation f of y gave us five three eight points Sorry five eight nine point eight 589.8 okay divided by summation f of x 236.8 so theta is equal to actan okay so actan 582.8 divided by 236.8 and we have actan 2.4611 therefore theta is now equal to act and 2.4611 is giving us 67.67.9 degrees approximately so that becomes the direction thank you very much for that question i'll see you in the next video with another amazing question on two dimension please post your questions in the comment section if you have anything to say or ask don't forget to like the video share to your friends and subscribe thank you very much